Good morning, guys. So, welcome to my new studio. I had the light off because of this echoey frequency thing. I need to replace it with a LED light. But anyway, the first thing back on the job is to tell you about Prometheus again. So what is Prometheus? Prometheus is um, a Golang written tool to basically monitor things. The way I see it, it it's about monitoring sort of like real-time-ish um, operational excellence. And I'm using it to uh, monitor my energy usage right now. I'm also using it to just check the reliability of a, of a few websites I care about. Um, this, is their, this is the web interface once you get it going. And um, what is somewhat interesting to see is, uh, if I can find it, is the way it works is that it scrapes. You have an exporter. It's not like a traditional monitoring system where like stuff is sent somewhere, something is pushed. It's all just scraped from these HTTPD URLs like this, and then it sort of um, plots it or something like this, or, or gathers the data. So the idea is that you can like scrape lots and lots of different sources, and um, well, and and monitor excellence, as I was saying. And I have a, oh, another important part to it is the alerts. And I just simply got that configured with AWS SES. So let's just quickly get this going. Uh, let me just show you how to get this going using LightSail, AWS's digital ocean killer thing. Um, essence in Singapore. Well, oh, Amazon Linux or Ubuntu. Amazon Linux has Docker, but not System D. And Ubuntu has system D nowadays. Uh, I don't know what the support is like, but not Docker going from the very outset. It's very, very annoying. Oh, there's a launch script you can put here. Uh, maybe I can figure out what the Docker launch script is. Um, I would normally probably use Amazon Linux because I trust that they're gonna optimize it more. Um, I know it sounds a bit ricey, but let's go for the Ubuntu since it's got system D and why is system D important? It's because it helps you manage the Docker instances and that's what I like to do. So from YouTube. Yep, this is the previous video I made. It's probably the same. I didn't actually bother to read or watch it. So it's getting to go. So basically with Prometheus, I have this project, Kai Hendry Ping Pong, where it's just meant to be a starting point for you guys. And the example, uh, I think, is just um, checking a few of these sites like food.example.com and checking that they, uh, they work. I recently changed it and I, in the sense that I've dropped um, support for Grafana. I just found Grafana just a mess of of a project to work with. Their Docker containers were especially frustrating and it's and it always seemed to lose my configuration. So I'm quite happy to work with this limited uh, graph thing. Also, um, actually, Prometheus does come up with some templates. This is it's not a very good template, but it's, it's better than dealing with Grafana, in my opinion, because Grafana is a nightmare. Okay, eh, my instance is going. So I think I need to SSH with Ubuntu. Host key verification file. Yikes, you know what? I don't remember which key I used here. Oh, now it works, whatever. Um, okay, first things first, I need to install Docker, which, um, it's called docker.io because some other stupid package took the name Docker. And uh, But m most guys seem to suggest using the Docker, uh, configuring their Docker app sources. So I'm just going to use the native thing. And then I need to run this gpassword thing. Because like, it doesn't allow me to You get that message until you actually have your permissions set up properly. Okay. We're ready. We're ready. So now just follow the instructions here on my ping prom thing. Uh, oops. 
Oh, this is I got this going for um for for, for Core OS, which I've kind of fallen out of love with, but oh, it would help if I clone followed my instructions properly. Um, yeah, what's up with Core OS? Uh, I just don't trust it anymore, and I don't like how it's difficult to install base tools over I log into it. Um, but the cool thing about Core OS is that it, it, it updates itself, which is quite nice. It's very nice, in fact. So you have to run these commands. So what is happening here? I'm setting up Prometheus. I'm setting up uh, Black Box Exporter. That's the exporter that sort of pings things. Alert Manager is the thing that alerts you, but you need to configure that. And let's get it going. Let's get it going. Uh, I'm always echoing here. So, ooh, let's, let's see what's going here. I'm starting up everything here. It's all gonna go. So, with my systemd service files, they download from Docker. And, and furthermore, when you restart it, it also does a pull. So, it makes it all up to date. Because you, you can get Docker images running with like restart always, Docker run, restart always, but then it doesn't update the Docker image. I think it's very important to keep everything sort of patched, running running stable releases. So on this configuration with Ubuntu, it's not updating the core, the core OS of Ubuntu, but it would be updating the services that I'm using here, the Prometheus services, that is. So I think, is that running? Is that working? Yep, it's all running. Oh, by the, f usually I, um, I run a uh, caddy in front of these um, services, but if you don't, they run off like weird ports like 9090 here. So let's open up the port. Let's open up the port. Add another. 90, 90. Okay, so now. Okay, now this is this would be your own um, Prometheus interface. You can see the configuration. Uh, you can see the alerts. Um, well, yeah, example.foo and google.com. Uh, well, I'm not sure what's up with that. But um, if you go probe success, execute. You can see, why is Google failing? Anywho, you basically then just like, you know, save that URL somewhere once you have the, um, the graph that you like to look at. And um, yeah, this should be a good starting point for you guys. That's how easy it is to get running, up and running. And um, if you know anything better than what I do, please let me know. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, I'm a little bit puzzled why the probe success is not working. Oh, one more thing I should just mention is stuff to do with the proba. Le proba. Oh, there seems to be some sort of TP TCP6 error. Huh. Okay, I'm sure it would work if it was um, TCP4. I've got deja vu, I've seen this problem before. Okay, well, that's Prometheus. That's how to set it up on uh, LightCell. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. Bye.